All right. I'm about four and a half miles into my hike right now. And you can see I'm approaching the old tub where the spring is where water comes out. This is the part where, you know, same place where I was wringing out my sweat right there during the summer. It's hard to hike up this way during the summer. So right now I'm in the saddle area and think about 50 minutes to an hour from this point until I get to Miller Peak. So, you know, last time I was up in this area, snow was like, you know, at least waist high. Some areas it was like shoulder high. I mean, I had to deviate a little bit after this point. You can see some trees have been cut down since I was last up here, but they're dead anyway. And here, where all the bushes are that were like buried under the snow last time I was here, like I could just see the tops of these bushes here. Look how high they are. Some of them are above my head. Now I'm six foot five. In certain areas, there's more light than others, but you know, that's why the lens focuses. It's kind of bright out there, but then they'll focus for the for the valley out there and it'll be dark here. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just showing you more and more parts of the trail. Is a burnt tree. Things as dead as a rock. Yeah, I heard there was a major fire up here back in 1987. So, it's been quite a while. I mean, some of these trees have been dead longer than I've been alive. And I'm 30. There's Mount Canyon. See, the peak is not that much higher. I just gotta take my time. If there was snow and ice up here, I probably wouldn't be able to film this. I'd have to focus all my attention on making sure that I don't lose my balance. See, there's a valley down there. But I'll show you more when I, when I get to the top. All right, I have about a half mile to go. I'm about 9,000 feet plus right now. I have a little over 400 feet to go, elevation wise, not distance, distance is half mile. You can see, I'm kind of working hard trying to get the oxygen. So, I just thought I'd show you this little bit shortly before the top. Here I am at Miller Peak. It is approximately 20 minutes to four in the afternoon. Well, I was up here for about at least 10, 15 minutes, but at the same time, I was talking with a few guys who I met up here. So I actually was not alone at the top. 
things haven't really changed that much. Looks pretty much the same. You know, the same uh, pine tree that's bent. Probably because of the wind. You know, like when the wind from the west comes over, it's very brutal up here. I think out there has to be Patagonia Lake. Has to be. No, not Patagonia Parker Lake, I'm sorry. Patagonia Lake is farther out that way, northwest. Parker Lake is right behind the Huachuca Mountain Range. As you can see, there's Sierra Vista. You can see everything from up here. Just turn a few degrees and there are the Mule Mountains where Bisbee is. The wind's actually very calm up here. I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be pretty windy at the top. But that's a plus for me because it doesn't feel that cold. <coughs> you can see I had to change my shirt and leave my other one there to dry. But no, I still look pretty good in the same physical condition that I was when I started. But it's been more than a year since I've been up here. And I feel pretty good. You know, my legs feel a little worked up, but you know, they usually do after hiking up a hill that is nearly 4,000 feet. That's about the elevation gain, about 3,800 feet. Yeah, this is about 350 feet higher than Mount Lemmon which I do believe is somewhere out that way. But, like I said in the other video, Mount Lemmon starts at an elevation of about 2,800 feet. So it's about 6,300 foot increase in elevation. This mountain here starts at around 5,000 feet because the valley out there is about uh, 4,300 feet at the lowest and then it slopes up to about 5,000 feet where you see see that road out there. Now you can barely see some vehicles down there moving. I can see the intersection at Herford Road very well. But as you can see the road is much more well defined because there's been a lot of construction work there. They, wind, they widen the road to increase the traffic flow and now the speed limit's higher and they also well they paved the road they they put blacktop on it so you can see a lot more better you can delineate the road from the from the rest of the land a lot better so let's see I'm gonna check over here to see if there's any trash from last year that I put in here I don't know. It is kind of gooey in there. Yeah. I wouldn't go fishing in there. But I'm sure there's probably some stuff in there. I guess it just decomposes. Well, you know, so the cans and... <clears throat> Plastic bottles, <coughs> especially soda cans, they take a while to decompose. But technically, I don't think we're really supposed to be throwing stuff there. I don't think the garbage men make their way up here and empty it. I don't know, maybe once every solar eclipse or so, they'll head over here and, and you know, empty it out. But yeah, it's beautiful out here. And I forget the name of the mountain out there. That's in Mexico. But yeah, I'm higher up than that. Well, that peak is a little over 8,000 feet. That's kind of neat that one of the highest peaks in the area, or in you know this part of the state, is near where I live in Sierra Vista. 
I'm thankful there's no snow up here yet. Otherwise the hike would be twice as hard. But I'm gonna go ahead and relax a little bit before I make my way back down. It is Mount Graham. Or maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't think it is. I was a little too confident in saying that. I think Mount Graham's a little bit further away from that. I think the haze has it all blocked out. I don't know, I wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised if that was Mount Graham. I'll have to Google it. Look it up on Google Earth. Because the landscape, you know, the landscape, you know, the area 